Today on Mr. Dog Poop Unleashed, we're going to go over a fly cam, steady cam system. So we started the channel and we went out there and we we're filming a truck and the camera was pretty shaky and we got some really shaky shots and unfortunately we couldn't show a lot of the good things that we did because the camera was too shaky. So I looked into camera stabilization and steady cams and I found this uh, Steadicam system. It's made by Flycam. I purchased it from ProAim in Canada. I purchased it on eBay for around $500. I got it in about two days, so I was pretty happy with that. This is exactly what I got. I haven't opened these. They came in boxes. These were packaged in the plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up with my NX cam, which is about five pounds. And then we're gonna take it outside and see if it makes the shots any steadier. Okay, so this is what we got. This is a, a vest that goes on the front of the person, I guess. And this is a back piece that goes around the back to help pad the weight of the system. The camera weighs about five pounds, but the system's pretty heavy. And this, really nice cases that they provided. Really nice presentation, actually, for $500. So this is the stabilizer arm, and this is going to hook onto the vest and support the camera. Now these springs in here are up to five pounds, so they're gonna be borderline. We may have to change over to these red springs, which will support five to 11 pounds. So we'll try it with these springs, and if we have to switch them out because it's too floppy, then we'll do it. But this is the stabilizer arm, comes with extra strap, extra springs. And then we have the actual camera support. And again, it comes packaged pretty nicely. And you'll see, and I don't know how to put this together yet, so we're gonna struggle through this, but this is the actual gimbal to support the camera. So as, as I move, if the camera's stabilized here and I move this way, it's not gonna move. And if I move up and down, it's not gonna move. This is the camera mount. And this is adjustable, so you can turn these knobs, move it back and forth and adjust the weight. This is the weight for the bottom. It's got some rubber feet on it, but these weights take these off and you can change the weight depending on the weight of the camera and then also adjust them in and out to, so that we can balance the system and we'll go over that when we get to it. This looks like another strap and, oh, this is a camera plate that we can put up on here for a quick release so that we can use it on multiple things. So that's nice. What else? This looks like a clamp to hold something. We're gonna find out when we go to put it together. Right now, I have no idea what this stuff is. And as a typical man, I'm not gonna read the instructions. So we're gonna start fumbling through how to put this together. But now that I'm looking at all the pieces, I may have to read the instructions because I don't even know where to start. Well, let me work on this a little bit and we'll come back and see what we have. This part is a little bit dangerous because this thing will flop around. These are really nice bearings in here. So this thing can come around, smash in the face, take out a couple teeth. You want to be careful with that. We've got the, the arm in here, the vest on, the arm goes up and down and that is gonna take the weight off of holding that camera. I'm gonna say these are adjustable, but I'm gonna say they're probably 
a little bit too loose for the weight of this unit, but let's find out. So this just goes on here. So this is it put together, uh, semi-balanced. I think we probably need some heavier springs here, but we'll try to uh, adjust it. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So it, it takes the weight off of you. So now it's swinging around, but it tends to stay, no matter what I do, it tends to stay level. So yeah, this is really freaky trying to figure out what we're doing. But let's take it back into my playground. And all the professional camera people are watching me now and saying, this guy's an idiot. He has no idea what he's doing. It's true. I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, we're just learning. But I thought a lot of people might like to learn with us, see what it's like, and learn from our mistakes. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, I just stepped in a hole. So we were coming out with the truck over here, and you'll see by the terrain, there's rocks and everything over here. I'm watching the screen. I try to keep a steady shot, and I'm stepping over and through things. And I think when you compare this footage with what we did previously, you see a huge difference. Woo! Man, I have a newfound respect for the Steadicam people. This, this is like carrying a military backpack or something. It is heavy. Let's try some, some flat, flat recording. Yeah, we're gonna have to hire somebody. Maybe it's just the walking. Maybe I'm just too old. It's definitely rocking, I think, because it's not balanced. But as far as stabilizing the picture, yeah, it's pretty stable. It's definitely not shaking. Yeah, I think you need to be a professional to use one of these. But I'll tell you what, for $500 and if I have a day to play with it instead of 15 minutes in a video, uh, I think it's going to do some pretty amazing things. So I tried switching it over to the other side so that I could use my right hand, but it seems to be tipped. And I don't know if that's the springs or maybe I should use it lower. I really have no idea. I have very little video experience and even less steady cam experience. So uh, it's not very steady, but it gives us a steady shot, but it, it swings back and forth. And even in the wind, the wind picks up and it pushes it. So um, potentially we need more weight on it if we had more weight, but I'm sitting here bouncing the camera up and down and it's, it's a steady shot. So let me aim it at something and do that. So I'm gonna aim this at a car across the parking lot and I'm gonna move this thing up and down. And now you can see recording on both cameras, you can see over here how much, how much I'm going up and down. And other than spinning, it really gives you a nice shot. Is it a $200,000 Steadicam system? No, but you know, for $500, if you watch the shaky footage we had, I think this is gonna be a lot better, but we are definitely gonna have to hire a Steadicam operator because this thing's hurting my back. And at my age from picking up dog poop for years, this just isn't for me. So we're gonna find somebody with a little more muscle and a little more time, and we're gonna shoot some great videos. So stay tuned and subscribe.